Hello students, for this week we're going to learn about time taken in hours and word problem. The lesson objective for this week is you need to know how to do time taken in hour and to solve word problem. Now I'm going to review back what you learned before. Okay, the short hand we call it hour hand and then the long hand we call it minute hand. Okay, now I'm going to review back on the telling time you learned before. Okay, the first clock on the left side. Okay, the hour hand is pointed at 5. So it's at 5 o'clock as the mean hand is pointing at number 12. Okay, so if minute hand is pointing at number 12, the minute hand is 0. So it's 5 o'clock. The second clock is shown 220. Okay. And then the last clock on the right, okay, the hour hand is pointed at 10, still at 10, okay, it's not reached at 11 o'clock, so it's 10, still 10, and then the minute hand is pointing at 9, so it's 45 minutes, so 10, 45. And then I'm going to refer back what you learned before, what is the definition of time taken. Time taken is the amount of time that has passed from beginning to the end. And last week, okay, as I remember, okay, you learned how to solve word problem for time taken in minutes. So you're using number line, step one, and I use a clock for step two. And then the last step subtraction, this method, uh, I'm not doing this year because the subtraction for a minute is so complicated for you, for your two. So I'm going to teach you for next year. As you learned before in your one word problem. Okay, for answering word problem, okay, as I will remind you the first step, okay, just remember, read the question and understand what the question asks. If the question asks, find the time taken, you need to find the time taken from the starting time to the ending time. If the question asks is the ending time, so you need to use the starting time and the duration. So with that, you can solve. And then for how long or how many minutes and hour you learn, okay, for minute last week, you learn every one hoop, okay, every one jump is five minutes, multiplication of five or skip counting by five. But this week, we're going to focus on one hoop is one hour. So skip counting by one. Okay, time taken in hour. For solving word problem time taken in hour, I'm going to use the same method as minute. So we're going to use number line and using a time. First example. Okay, word problem. Someone watch a football match on TV at 9.15 p.m. Okay, the match end at 11.15 p.m. So how long the football match play on the TV? So how do you going to solve this one? I'm going to use... A number line okay first it start at 9 15 so we're gonna jump okay one hoop remember for our one hoop okay one jump is one hour so we're gonna add after one hour so we're gonna add on the hour part okay the hour part is 9 so 9 plus 1 okay it become 10 15 after 10 15 okay it's still not reach 11 15 we're gonna Hoop another one hour, okay. It become eleven fifteen. Now we already reached eleven fifteen. So how long the football match play on TV? So we're gonna add one hour plus one hour, so it become two hour. So the football match play for two hours. So that is the answer. Okay. Second example. Teacher Emma drive from Brunei to Sabah. She left Brunei at 1 p.m. in the afternoon and arrived at Sabah at 6 p.m. in the afternoon. So how long the journey teacher Emma Tech drive from Brunei to Sabah? So I'm going to focus on the number here. 1 p.m. is the starting time and the ending time is 6 p.m. So how long the journey teacher Emma Tech drive from Brunei to Sabah? So I'm going to use number line. So start from 1 p.m. Okay, remember for hour. Okay, how long? So we're going to use one hoop for one hour. So we're going to hoop one hour, every one hour. So we 
at one hour, it becomes two o'clock. Okay, another hoop, it becomes three o'clock. Okay, until we reach six o'clock. So another hoop for uh, o'clock afternoon, and then after that, another one hoop is five o'clock, and then we reach six o'clock for another one hoop. So now to find the journey, how long the journey? So we're gonna add all the one 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 here on the top so this one one two three four five so we add so the total is five hours so teacher emma take the journey five hours from brunei to sabah now another example find the time taken from 6 30 a.m to 11 30 a.m so as you can see the minute hand there are still okay it's still in 30 minutes, okay? And then for 11.30, the minute hand is also in 30 minutes. So the difference here, okay, as you can see, only the hour part is changing. So from 6.30, so we start from 6, so the 6, okay, for the hour hand is 6, and then it stops at 11, okay? As you can see, from the ending time, is at 11. So now, we're gonna use a clock. So to use this, we're gonna hook. Okay, remember for hour we hook one. Okay, even using number line or using time. So you just hook one. Every one hook is one hour. Okay, six to seven is one hour. Seven to eight is one hour. Eight to nine is one hour. Nine to ten is one hour. And 10 to 11 is one hour. Okay, now we're gonna add. So every one hoop, one, two, three, four, five. So now we have five hoop. So the time taken is five hour. Or the duration is five hour. Okay, as you can see from here, the red okay, hoop here. So the total is five hour. Mm -hmm. Okay, the difference between the starting time and the ending time is five hour. Okay. Now we're going to do another one. Okay, class start at 9.30 a.m. and finish at 11.30 a.m. So how long is the class? So it starts at 9.30. Okay, now it's finished at 11.30. Okay, now as you can see, the changing here is only the shorthand from 9. Okay, and then it stop until 11. So now we're gonna do a hoop, okay? Remember, one hoop is one hour. So nine to 10 is one hour, and then 10 to 11 is one hour. So there are two hoop there, so one plus one is two hour. So it takes two hours, so the class takes two hours. So how long is the class? It's two hours, the duration. Okay, now we're gonna do another example. Maria watch a movie at cinema. Her movie started at 11.15 p.m. and ended at 4.15 p.m. How long was the movie play? So we're going to use number line, okay? First, we use number line and I show you. 11.15, so it starts 11.15 and then we hook. Okay, remember one hook, one hour for a time taken in hour. Okay, so it will be after one hour, it will be 2.15. Okay, now another hook will be 3.15. And another hoop will be 415. Okay, so now we have three hoops. So what are you gonna do? We're gonna add all three. One plus one plus one. So the answer is three hour. So the movie play for three hours. Okay, now we use clock. Okay, if we use clock, okay, we're gonna show is that the same? Okay, now on the left, okay, 115. The left clock I put 115 and the ending time okay is 415 okay so now I'm gonna use this clock okay remember this is about hour so we're gonna use the shorthand pointing at one so one and the ending time is pointing at four okay so now we're gonna hook from one to two is one hour two to three is one hour three to four is one hour so it's proof that it's the same. The movie play for three hour. Now we're gonna focus on finding ending time for time taken in hour. 
For example, find the ending time. The starting time is at 30. Okay, the time taken, one hour to complete science exam, and then another two hours to complete art exam. So first, I use number line. So I put at 30, so the starting time. Okay, now as you can see, two hour is so big, so I'm going to split this one into two. So it becomes one plus two, one. So one plus one is two. So I'm going to break this one. Every one hoop is one hour, remember? For time taken in hour, we do one hoop for one hour. So at 32, okay, so after one hour, at 30 will be 9.30. And then another one hour it will be 10.30. Okay, now left with the science exam. So after one hour, okay, it's 11.30. So the ending time is 11.30. Okay, so the, the time the exam finish for science and art, it will be 11.30. Okay, second example. Rena started reading time at 2 p.m. and she finished her reading one hour later. So at what time did Rena finish her reading? Okay, so she started at 2 o'clock afternoon. Then after one hour, it mentioned that one hour later so one hour later will be plus one so it become three o'clock afternoon 3 p.m so what time did fin Rina finish her reading she finished her reading at 3 p.m now we do another example adam spent one hour writing his family story he took another one hour to color the picture, maybe the picture of his family, okay? He drew and he colored the picture. And then he started at 7.45 p.m., okay? This is starting time. At what time did he finish his homework? Okay, now are you going to use number line? So starting time is 7.45. And then, okay, he mentioned that he take one hour to write the, his family story in his composition. So one hour, so it becomes at 45, okay? And another one hour to color the picture of his family. So he's going to finish at 9.45 after one hour. So at plus one is nine. So we don't disturb the 45 minutes, only the front part, okay? So you just add one hour, one hour. So now we can see he finished his homework at 9.45 p.m. Okay, we're going to do the last example. The clock is one hour slow. What is the actual time? As you can see on the left, okay, the clock show 10 o'clock. Now, this clock is so slow, okay? It's not the, the actual time now, okay? It's slow for one hour, okay? So now we're going to find the actual time. To find the actual time, okay, if you see the word one hour slow, it means that we need to add, add another one hour, one hoop, okay? So it's mean duration is one hour so from 10 okay we hook one and then we got 11 okay so that's mean the actual time now is 11 o'clock okay okay that's all from teacher today so you can have your assignment on saturday okay goodbye